everyone and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today we're looking at the Colouring Heaven Halloween special. So this contains 40 unearthly designs from a few different illustrators. So we have, we've got a mixture of styles, not just one illustrator. We've got Camille Feister, Nikki Burnett, Vanessa Yotomoto, uh, Zoe Sadler, Vera Ma and Carissa Rose. So loads of different styles of illustration included. So as usual, gold foiling to the title it's a matte cover and back cover so that you can color them if you wish now this is a little bit different so on the back you can see we've got an illustration here and if you're familiar with kelly o'gorman's work you will recognize this as one of her illustrations immediately it is her style and it's um telling you that throughout october coloring heaven is donating 10 pence to bath mind for every single copy sold so we're supporting a really really worthwhile very worthy charity um when you buy your copy of this um mental health is something that is um a very taboo subject it's something that an awful lot of people suffer with and it's great to just shine a light on that and um support that charity so open it up and we've got that little bit of information that we always have about our designers here we've got camille feister who is a french artist we've got nikki burnett who lives in columbus ohio vanessa yotomoto who's based in sao paulo a brazilian artist Zoe Sadler studied illustration at Dundee University and she now lives in the, on the Isle of Wight. We've then got Vera Ma, aka Shortbread, who is in sunny Singapore. And finally, Carissa Rose, who lives in Chicago. So there's a little taster of their work there in thumbnail format. And then we've got a bit of a uh, advertisement here for the Colour in Heaven Masterclass. I've been talking about this in pretty much every video lately. Um, but just in case you don't know, it is an event that's taking place on the 26th of October in Bath from 1 to 4 p.m. Um, you'll be able to meet Jasmine Beckett Griffith. You'll have colouring tuition from Joe Barber, who's a professional artist. Um, you'll get a exclusive Jasmine Beckett Griffith design to colour and keep. You'll get some colouring pencils to keep. Uh, if you make a purchase at Jasmine's shop, you'll get a free pin badge and it is in the beautiful and historic Bath Guildhall location. So there are limited tickets left for that. I'll be there uh, along with loads of other faces and names you'll probably recognise from the colouring community. So um, if you can get there and you can grab yourself a ticket, I would absolutely love to meet you. So starting off with the first illustration of 40 we have Camille's illustrations here so I'm just going to flick through them you can see um, the kind of style that she has it's a very sort of alienish style um, very very odd very quirky so none of these illustrations have a name so they're just numbered um, but you can see we've got horned ladies um, I'm guessing this is a witch or a sorceress of some sort. She's holding a potion. She's got a bone necklace and uh, she's looking in what could be a spell book. This could be a ghost. It's got quite ratty clothes. I'm not really sure. It's, it's very sort of abstract. I think you have to sort of um, figure it out for yourself what you think these creatures are. So this is a hybrid of a candlestick and what looked like ghosts. It's a little bit of a spooky take on Beauty and the Beast, I guess. So this looks like this looks like a bottle, I think a glass bottle, and then at the top the lid of the bottle or the stopper is someone's head. So we've got a couple of spooky twins here holding their little teddy bears, little ratty um, rabbit, and it looks kind of like Rue. Is it Rue or Piglet? Sorry, from um, Winnie the Pooh. And I really like this thing hand that's in her hair. So we moved on to the next illustrator now, and that's that is the great thing about these um, these specials is that you get a few different illustrators, and if one person's style isn't your thing, the next person's probably will be. So this is Nikki Burnett, and as you can see, her style is completely different. It is quite realistic. It's very very clean lines. There's a lot of small intricate detailed spaces, um, and it's just completely different to the previous. So we've got a witch here with her familiar cat. And then we've got what looks like a cuckoo clock, but it's also set right up in uh, the clouds. So it could be a witch's home that she's got enchanted to be in the clouds. 
it's really cool I've got another portrait of a witch here sat on the broomstick above the silhouetted town and then we've got with her cats again so a couple of these cats actually have wings so fairy cats hybrid we have the witch with a spear and a phoenix i think phoenix with peacock ish type feathers um and this one looks a little bit more like a warrior and now she's sat on her broomstick again we've got a little lantern swinging from the stick and she's flying over her pumpkin patch in the night with her owl flying behind her now we can see we've moved on to another illustrator this is vanessa yotomoto and again something completely different this is very sketchy very dark there's a lot of shading and lines here um, but I really like this particular style. It's kind of cute and original and unique. So this to me looks like a sorcerer of some sort. Um, we've got, I'm not really sure what this is, but it looks like um, cogs or wheels, a steampunk sort of influence. Again, it this looks to me like this um, sorcerer is making a type of voodoo doll possibly out of fairies or even pulling the wings off fairies that's a little bit dark isn't it but these fairies just look quite um, perturbed at their fate and then we've got another like i say with these um buckles and and leather belts and things it does have a slight steampunk-esque feel to it um it looks like he's collecting collecting nectar from these flowers i thought it was a bag initially but he's also holding a rat i'm not really sure what's going on there um this reminds me of harry potter i can't remember what these guys are called but those plants that you pull out and they scream uh, they're screaming at you uh yeah you can see i think that must be where the original um influence came from so we've got another sorcerer type lady, a witch. I'm not really sure what the character is meant to be, whether there there is a um a cultural character that, that looks like this girl, I don't know. But it looks to me like she's got her wooden staff and it has something glowing tied to it. We've got a, a wizard here that looks like he's doing a love potion, which is, is you don't often see a male character doing a love potion, so that's quite nice. And then we have someone levitating here, meditating and levitating. And the cats are sort of going a little bit wappy. I don't know what's up with them. Um, and then we've got the next illustrator. So this is Zoe Sadler. And I'm gonna just turn this around so you can see. We have a graveyard here with loads of different stones with different um, inscriptions on them. I'll turn it around again. This is inside a witch's house. I love how um, sort of slanted and quirky the house is you can see we've got tentacles coming out the top window we've got this um this chimney style thing here but it's actually a coffin with a vampire in it we've got the witch that's on the the weather the weather thingy uh, the weather vane and then we've got the witch doing some potions here we've got what looks like a frankenstein creature in this door um we've got a mummy poking out we've got a skeleton um coming out the closet um we've got these different types of plants that those snapping plants i can't remember what they're called um and this is called the ghastly guest house and it has vacancies we've got zombies coming out we've got spiders i love it there's something different to look at every time you um you look at this picture the next one is sort of inside the witch's house so you can see we've got a close-up of a cauldron and then the shelves with all of her potions and lotions behind and if you can see the edge of this picture, it sort of looks like it's been cut off preemptively. And that's because the next part is actually on the next page. So you could take these out and cut and stick them together and it will be like one long stream of shelving. Uh, on this one, much the same. Graveyard dust, frog slime, dragonfly wings, eyeballs, wolfsbane. And then again, so you have the belladonna here, as you can see in the essence of ghost that's where the edge of this picture comes so here's the belladonna here's the essence of ghost so as i say you can stitch them together and this is obviously one that i'm working on at the moment uh with prisma colors i've not finished it quite yet but i'm having fun doing it uh, and then we've got a whole nother set of shelves but this one is contained to this particular page so loads of different potions spirit of unicorn seahorse scales dead sea water dandruff from ogres um there's loads of different like fun quirky little potions 
Then we move on to the next illustrator. This is Vera Mar, aka Lemon Shortbread. Um, again, totally different style, quite similar to Nikki Burnett, but also have a, has a little a little bit of a Hannah Lynn vibe to it. I feel uh, we've got the ringlets here. We've got this very decorated window going on. It looks almost kind of Victorian. I love this girl sat on the swing with her cat. You've got the um, graveyard stones in the background and this misty night scene going on behind. This one's really cool as well. So this looks like an emo sort of teenager and she's stood with her bone friend. I don't know, some sort of skeleton friend anyway. Again, the graveyard in the background. Here we're walking through the pumpkin patch and she has her little kitty in the basket. This one's a horizontally, um, a horizontal one. It's a close up of a little girl and she's got her really cool punk earrings in. She's got a scar going across her eye and then the, the thorned roses in the background. This one has um, almost like an art deco feel to the background. It looks like a skull within the mist, but it sort of feels art deco-ish to me. And then you've got the, the very old um, looking costume there. This one, she sat at her um, windowsill, almost like a Romeo and Juliet. You might be able to do maybe a bit of a spooky twist on that. There's candles in the background. There's big, heavy drapes and lots and lots of ivy crawling around. Finally, we've moved on to the last illustrator, who is Carissa Rose. And again, you can see just a completely different style. This is grayscale portraits. Very, very hyper-realistic, but with the kind of quirky fantasy touch of having the Day of the Dead makeup. Turn this around, another Day of the Dead girl. The roses this time. This one has butterflies, and again, you're getting that realistic look of it being an actual person rather than a cartoon character. And if you haven't tried grayscale before, buying one of these Colour in Heaven books is a fantastic way of giving it a go without spending too much money. So we've got to the end. Um, you can see there's an advert here for subscribing to Colouring Heaven and you'll get a set of Faber-Castell gold Faber pencils worth 25 quid if you do that. Um, there's also Christmas offers for international readers as well, um, saving up to 40% on your subscription. So I'll be leaving links in the description of where you can go and sign up to subscribe and also where you can buy this particular issue if you don't live in the UK or you can't find it in your local shop. So there it is, the Halloween special for 2019. It's issue number 54 and it's around £5.49 to buy. So again, for 40 different designs by five, is it five or six different illustrators? You know, you it's a really, really good bargain. Loads of different styles to play with. And yeah, please let me know in the comments what you thought of this particular issue. And I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.